Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Active Anatomy. So I'm here on the weekend messing around in the collections, looking at some bones that have come out of our dermestid beetle colony, such as these of, of the unusual flightless bird from New Zealand, uh, the kiwi. Kiwis are members of a, of a group known as ratites, which include things like ostriches and, and emus and cassowaries. Now the group ratites sort of sits in distinction to another group known as carinates, which includes pretty much all the other birds that, that, that we know, including things like, like loons. Um, the term turns out that the term carinate actually refers to the structure of the sternum or breastbone, like on this, on this loon right here. So this is the keel right here, um, which is, is, is very large on carinate birds because it forms the attachment of the flight muscles. This keel is also known as the, the uh, corina or corino, which gives us the term carinate. Well, what about ratite? Uh, ratites are all flightless birds, and we can see from this ostrich that there is no keel, which makes sense because they don't have the large flight muscles that we see in carinates. But well, what does ratite even mean? So I looked it up and it turns out that the term ratite actually means raft. Basically, we can think of um, a ratite sternum like on this emu as basically being sort of a flat bottom boat that'll float around in the water much like a raft does. It turns out that uh, the term carinate also is sort of a nautical reference because we can sort of see that this sternum of this loon will sort of float around and sit in the water much like the keeled hull of a boat. And so we have this unexpected situation where these two great groups of birds are basically named for comparison to nautical vessels, to ships. And so this indeed has been a pretty random active anatomy. I'm Larry Whitmer and that's all for today.